Winning the silver in London was a bit of a double-edged sword, really. You know, it was an amazing Games, but we kind of came away really feeling like we'd lost a gold medal. It was just between us and the Kiwi girls, uh, the battle for gold, it was whoever beat who, and it just slipped away from us. We've missed every major moment in all our friends' and family's life. Weddings, babies, day to day we have a great life, we go to great venues, we're doing the thing we dreamt of doing as kids, but you sort of miss that closeness sometimes with friends and family. We just had Weymouth and Portland World Cup, which uh, we finally beat the Kiwis at, so it was great sort of in the Olympic venue to feel like we've got a bit of revenge back on the Kiwis. We've improved loads and we feel like we're still improving loads, so it's great, you know, great to get that monkey off our back, you know, of being beaten by them all the time. We get one spot at the Olympic Games. It's a sport like running, you have to get the qualification time and then you're in. And often we've got two or three boats inside the top ten in the world from Britain. And only one of those can go to the Olympics, so it's, it's heartbreaking at times, you know. Everyone's fighting for that one spot and um, people don't make it and, and people spend their whole careers not making it. We're really looking forward to the pressure for trials, um, getting the selection done, and then we can really focus on the Games themselves and how to win the gold medal there. Rio is just wacky. It's, uh, you know, there is only really two directions the wind can blow from, but you've got Sugarloaf Mountain, you've got mountains everywhere. The more time we can spend there, the more we'll get to know these little ins and outs of the venue and the more prepared we'll feel when the games come around. You have to get on. It's essential, really. I couldn't imagine doing it with someone who I didn't have a great time with and nothing I'd do with Sass. Phew! Yeah. And, you know, you're there together through absolutely everything, the highs, the lows, the disappointments. It's really pushed us on the last three years, um, building up to Rio. And I think as, as sailors, we're in a much better position to put in a great performance in Rio and, and hopefully come away, whatever the result, not feeling the same we did uh, after London.